we're on follow for a 1900 uh, I think these are five minute games so the percentage of players in the 1900s who play like a computer from my own experience yep yeah, is quite low it's the odd occasion where you meet one of those there you go damn where did that come from yeah and that makes you feel like the whole of the 1900s are like playing like computers but generally from my experience the 1900s aren't as strong as you would think you just have to be prepared for the where did that come from factor and if you aren't then that's when you get shocked more times out of 10 it's simple maneuvers that they come out with and they use the basics well you know the basic concepts of chess they use them really well so the get out clause for um knocking out the fact of the computer type play is as a human a 1900 level online you're looking at basic good understanding of the basic knowledges of chess all of the checks captures threats support blocking you know all of those types of things they utilize well yeah i won't say excellent they utilize well because they can suffer from over utilizing those concepts and then tying themselves up yeah but they on the on the whole they utilize those concepts really well so if you don't understand the checks captures threat support blocking blah 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 um then you need to probably just restart your game again or just practice certain areas where you feel you're kind of weak because their basics usually are quite good all depends though like i said before um some night like, some high level players have got their ratings and really and truly you, you you wonder where they got them from did they buy them from the back of a um a lorry or something like that so yeah just be mindful the basics are nice and solid for the 1900s be prepared for the what if factor <laughs> um, the sorry the where did that come from factor and then you're set to play against a 1900 simple as that okay so we've not looked through this one here but i'm wanting to get out the traits of what i believe are 1900 traits to help me understand better you know the 1900 um behaviors uh, so that i can develop and work towards them so if they've got good basics and we're working on good basics then we should be able to equalize or gain advantages in games against 1900s yep and if we're using the traits for the 1800s then we should be able to equalize or get advantages with 1800s etc for all of each of the individual rating um, areas because the whole idea behind chess is to have solid basics because when you look at the computers when they're playing it's not like they're suddenly growing different pawns and different you know adding different um layers to the game they're playing the same game that you're playing it's just that they're moving their pieces in a different way and nine times out of ten it's because they're utilizing basics better than yourself and then there's the odd occasion of a computer will then come out with something very spectacular whereby you go i don't understand what that move was but then 10 moves later you find out why that move was made so that's too deep for me in a sense you know looking 10 moves ahead so that's when we're talking about you know you're playing against a computer it's like i don't understand that move but there's a rationale behind it um I tend to find if you keep your basics as basic as possible and keep it simple you can sometimes circumvent those 10 moves ahead type calculations that the computer does make just based on my own experience I'm not saying i can beat all the computers but um try playing like the um what is it is it a 2700 level computer or something that really kind of high one just for the fun of it 
and just have a look at how it operates and it's so smooth do you know what i mean it is looking like 10 moves ahead and it's like you go oh i'm gonna try and but you can see it coming a mile off as well but there's nothing that you can do about it that's the hard part about it whereas in you're playing a normal human being you can usually find something that you can do against it oh and the computers that's the difference for me in the computers is that well once they've got you they, they've got you and you it's a snowball effect massively normally with humans their snowball effect isn't that clear you can see it but then you you know you, you've got something that you can probably do against it wow our 1900s a little, a little bit stronger aren't they? okay right so we're gonna check out their next game um, and we'll go through that because we've been talking about the traits right so let's see you focus they're playing a 1700 now and we've covered the traits for the 1700 before so what we'll just have a look see what the 1900 is going to do against them so the basics are solid so let's have a look at the basics they're tacking x-ray through they're not going to do anything special but let's look how basic their moves are so that we can get a good understanding as to they're not magicians yep they're only magicians when they're using those tools okay so he's now supported but he's also giving space maybe coming here maybe coming here which one's the option for yeah it's attacking so okay it's nice and basic it's going to be looking at casting but not just yet not going to take uh it's got a castle now no it's not going for that type of basic right okay it's going for the double but then it's rooks here maybe it's just going to take then no it's castled all right basics just don't know why that's jumped in there but never mind so captured simple capture back yep nothing fancy and what's happening here 1700s looking to try and be a little bit too arty it's going for the simple simple attack here on the palm it's keeping the pressure on giving him something to think about yeah and now he's going to defend here maybe i don't know <laughs> or is he bringing the bishop back and attacking no oh is that a missed opportunity mr 1900 what's going on there if i saw that you should have seen that unless of course you said well i've got bigger fish to fry okay let's look at the position so now he's going to go here and block the bishop off but he can't because he's under attack so he can go here he's got support of the pawn oh, he's actually gone that way okay so it's not saying his basics are very clean either really but um I'm, I'm not sure i would have done uh, okay so it's not my game uh, da, 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 da. king's moved down queen is probably looking to get to here at some point and again can't do that yet because this and this and this yeah queen's coming here like we said it's allowing pieces to be taken but for some reason i'm just thinking maybe he's played too many games and he's flagging a bit get the knight here no this pawn wants to take this doesn't it oh like we said get the knight there see my basics aren't too bad at all really it's targeting here but this pawn is kind of happening I think he's suffered quite a bit of damage in that one this 1700's a little bit focused uh, now he's protecting here he's still trying to face off the king is he looking for an exchange with the queen Ooh, this looks like it's hurting this might be his first loss of this um, arena maybe but I'm waiting for that where did that come from factor because they are 1900 with basics they've got basics good basics 
I won't say excellent basics because that we will talk about the 2000 bit um, later on. Not in this section, this is the 1900 section. The 1700 section is really, 1700 is performing really quite well. The grabs, and now it's, where did that come from? That's what the 1700s thinking now. Where did that come from? No way. I can't take now because he's just going to be all over me. And then he's getting my knight. Where did that come from? Those are the types of moves. This move here that we've just seen, those are the types of moves. He's not got a check on, so he could still do something. He could take the pawn here, you know, to win a tempo of some sort. But it really doesn't carry much weight. It's rook takes, then the rook takes. I suppose it's giving him something to think about. Oh, he's actually gone for a blocker. Yeah, nice, nice. Tell you, this 1700's got some stuff of his own. He's got some stuff of his own. Wow. Yeah. 1900, really. So he's got X-ray through. So positionally, he's still looking a little bit better, but he's still he's up now, but not for long. So he's down a pawn, he's got the pawn back. And I think I prefer, even though he's got this pass pawn here, he's going to have to babysit this pawn. Now his rook is more active because this rook can't do anything if he's wanting to keep this pawn. So it looks like he's in trouble now. So that's the massive difference. Simple basics of, you know, gathering, attacking key spaces, key pieces and the slow incremental development going forward rook supporting the pawn quite nicely that pawn's going nowhere um yeah i think this is done i think that was a good dis good display from both sides on this in this game really quite pleased with that one show the definite characteristics of each each side i was just about to i thought it was um Time wise, there's no panic here. How our, our 1900 is, um, yeah, taking this home. Unless, of course, he doesn't know how to do end games. Excellent. That's the 1900 series. Okay, great stuff.